Imagine a world where your doctor doesn't just treat what you already have, but anticipates what you might develop, tailoring therapies based on the blueprint you were born with. Your genome, your cellular data, your lifestyle signals, all flowing into an AI-driven system that crafts a treatment plan unique to you. This isn't decades away, it's happening now. And at the heart of this medical shift is the convergence of artificial intelligence and genomics, a combination that promises to transform healthcare from generic to personal. In this video, we dive into the genomic revolution powered by AI, unpack how it works, why it matters, what's at stake, and how it will change your relationship with health. Welcome to the Tech Radar. Let's begin by understanding the context. For a century, medicine has been largely reactive. Symptoms appear, tests run, therapies follow. The language of health has been broad, average-based. You get the standard of care, the protocol that fits most. But humans are not averages. We vary in our genes, in our metabolism, in how we respond to drugs. Enter the concept of personalized, or precision, medicine. The idea that care should be tailored to the individual. As one conference speaker observed, we truly now have the opportunity to reap the full potential of individualized medicine. The road ahead must be focused on expanding our genomic tools and further integrating individualized medicine. We've only just begun to glimpse what is possible. Now add AI into the mix. AI brings the ability to sift through vast data sets, sequencing data, proteomics, metabolomics, clinical records, and identify patterns invisible to humans. A review explains, AI holds significant promise in advancing the field of personalized medicine. The challenge lies in effectively analyzing vast amounts of data to create tailored treatment approaches. When the two combine, genomics plus AI, you get something far more powerful than incremental improvement you get a foundational shift. But what exactly is being powered? Consider three levels of application, predictive, diagnostic, and therapeutic. Predictive, determining who is at risk before disease manifests. Diagnostic, identifying the right diagnoses, often hidden or rare, through genomic signatures. Therapeutic, matching the right drug or gene therapy to the right patient. This is the core vertical of AI in genomic-driven, personalized medicine. Let's go deeper into the building blocks. First, genomics. Sequencing technology has exploded. The cost of sequencing a human genome has dropped precipitously. Today, it's measured in hundreds of dollars, not millions. That means more people yield more data and more opportunity for insights. But raw sequence is just letters. A. T. C. G. The real value is in interpreting them, understanding variants, understanding how they interact with environment, lifestyle, and other molecular layers. That's where AI comes in. AI in this space uses machine learning, deep learning, convolutional neural networks, recurrent nets, ensemble methods, all built to identify complex, non-linear relationships. A technical article outlines in genetics, AI algorithms are crucial for analyzing genetic markers quickly and accurately, offering insights into patient susceptibilities and potential responses to treatments. Think of a system that ingests your genome, your epigenome, your transcriptome, the expression levels of your genes, and environmental lifestyle data, and recommends a drug and predicts how you'll respond. That's the power of AI plus genomics. One of the pioneers in this space, Eric J. Topol, an authority in digital medicine, put it succinctly, the greatest opportunity offered by AI is not reducing errors or workloads or even curing cancer. It is the opportunity to restore the precious and time-honored connection and trust, the human touch, between patients and doctors. Which is a provocative way of pointing out that the real value of this technology is human health, not just algorithms. Now let's walk through a concrete use case. AI-driven genomics for oncology, cancer care. Cancer is a disease of the genome. 
Mutations, rearrangements, gene fusions, they all matter. Traditional pathology might classify the cancer by tissue type and stage, but genomics allows classification by molecular subtype. AI takes immensely complex data, sequencing, imaging, clinical history, and detects patterns which guide therapy. For instance, patient A has a rare gene fusion, patient B has a common mutation, AI picks the best trial or therapy for each. The speed is remarkable. What used to take months may take days. A study outlines machine learning frameworks for personalized counterfactual treatment suggestions based on multi-omics data. Let's examine the workflow from sample to treatment. A patient's tumor is sequenced. The sequence data is processed. AI algorithms annotate variants, filter benign versus pathogenic, interpret significance, compare to databases of known responses, and suggest therapies. Then clinicians review results and make decisions. This process often includes other modalities, imaging, histology, proteomics, immunophenotyping. The more data, the more powerful the insight, but also the higher the complexity. AI is what makes sense of it. Beyond oncology, AI genomics is also used for rare diseases, metabolic disorders, cardiovascular risk stratification. According to a review, in genomics, AI is simply playing the role of a pro-analyst who turns complex genetic data into groundbreaking insights. For example, precision cardiology may use polygenic risk scores, AI refined, to predict who will suffer a myocardial infarction decades earlier than traditional risk calculators would. Let's shift to the anatomy of the AI system. Step 1. Data Collection Genomic Data Clinical Electronic Health Records EHR, Lifestyle Sensors Wearables Imaging Family History Step 2. Feature Engineering AI systems extract features Single Nucleotide Polymorphisms SNPs, copy number variations, gene expression levels, pathways, epigenetic marks, metabolite levels. Step 3. Modeling. Advanced ML models like gradient boosting machines, GBM, deep neural networks, DNN, convolutional nets for imaging, graph neural nets for variant networks. These models generate predictions, disease probability, drug response probability, risk score, outcome prediction. Step 4. Deployment. The system outputs actionable intelligence. Patient has a 45% chance of drug resistance. Consider therapy X, or this patient's polygenic risk score suggests high risk for type 2 diabetes by age 45. Recommend lifestyle intervention. Step 5. Feedback loop. Clinical outcomes feed back into model training, refining predictions. This continuous loop is what distinguishes AI-powered genomics from static rule-based medicine. Now the benefits. Faster diagnosis, more accurate treatment, fewer side effects, improved inclusion for underserved populations, lower cost. A paper summarizes. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, genomics, Predictive modeling are all potentially important, but without better systems to track what's really happening on the front lines in real time, they are a house of cards, not a sound foundation for life and death decisions. That quote highlights the challenge. You need robust infrastructure, not just hype. Let's talk inclusion. Historically, patients from minority populations or low resource settings have been excluded from genomic studies. AI, when designed well, can include diverse data and democratize care, but only when the data is representative. According to a review, AI-driven credit scoring. Analogous in genomics, the challenge is bias and fairness when datasets lack diversity. In genomics, poor representation can lead to mispredictions and inequity. Hence, inclusivity in data is non-negotiable. Now let's focus on personalization and treatment. AI can predict drug response by modeling the interplay of genes, environment, and drug. For example, 
Pharmacogenomics uses genomic variants to decide which patients will respond to a given therapy or suffer side effects. AI enhances that by modeling interactions at scale. A review explains, AI algorithms analyze a patient's genetic information, medical history, and responses to treatment, assisting healthcare providers in their decision-making. That means a future where your cancer drug, your cholesterol medication, even your antidepressant is chosen not by trial and error, but by algorithmic insight. But let's not ignore the challenges. Data privacy is massive. Genomic data is uniquely identifiable and deeply personal. If compromised, it reveals more than just health status. It suggests who you are, your ancestry, predispositions. Regulations like GDPR, HIPAA, and proposed AI regulation frameworks demand explainability, transparency, fairness. For example, a Harvard Gazette article states, you're not expecting this AI doctor that's going to cure all ills, but rather AI that provides support so better decisions can be made. We must agree, AI is not magic, it's a tool. Explainability is critical. In genomics, black box models may provide high accuracy, but limited transparency. One study frames, explainable AI for bioinformatics, methods, tools, and applications. Noting the need for transparency, especially in health. If a model says we predict high drug resistance, doctors and patients need a rationale. Regulatory frameworks are emerging. High-risk AI applications, like genomics, will require audits, validation, clinical trials. The ecosystem must include ethicists, clinicians, AI researchers, data scientists. Collaboration is essential. Let's explore an end-to-end -end case study. Rare disease diagnosis. A child presents with mysterious symptoms, metabolic issues, developmental delays. Genetic sequencing reveals thousands of variants. Traditional interpretation takes months. AI-powered genomic systems sift through millions of variants, rank them, correlate them with phenotype data, known disease associations, and suggest top candidates within days. That means earlier intervention, better outcomes, fewer diagnostic odysseys. One system from a Swiss-based company used AI to analyze 100,000 genomic profiles, democratizing data-driven medicine. This kind of speed and scale is redefining rare disease care. Financial implications are huge. Global AI in genomics market size was valued at USD 484.1 million in 2022 and anticipated to grow at Wachauscha 39.2% annually, reaching multi-billion by 2032. Investors are backing companies combining genomics and AI because this is not just research, it's deployment. For example, GeneDX acquired an AI genomics firm to scale insights globally. So we're talking medicine as an industry being reinvented. Let's synthesize the stakes now. On one side, precision, personalization, prevention, inclusion. On the other, data risk, bias, complexity, cost, regulatory hurdles. The winners will be those who build robust systems govern them well, and align with human values. As Eric Topol pointed out, the opportunity to restore the precious connection and trust between patients and doctors. Because ultimately, medicine is human. That brings us to you, the viewer. Why should you care? Because this revolution shifts you from passive recipient of care to informed participant. You'll want to ask the right questions. What data is being used to tailor my care? Who controls my genome data? Can I access my personalized risk score? Will a machine ever decide for me? These are not fringe questions. They'll matter to you, your children, your aging parents. Looking ahead, over the next five to 10 years, we can expect genomic medicine to become routine, genetic testing at birth, AI models tracking your health changes over time, dynamic treatment adjustments, individualized prevention programs, targeted gene therapies. But for this to succeed widely, four pillars must hold. Data-rich ecosystems, 
AI models built for diversity, clinical workflows that adopt technology, and ethical regulatory frameworks that protect patients. To close, AI-powered personalized medicine via genomics is not about replacing doctors or eliminating human judgment. It's about amplifying what is possible, better decisions, earlier interventions, tailored treatments, hope for rare diseases, and a future where healthcare finally lives up to the promise of, for each one, a unique care plan. We are at the beginning of that revolution. If you found this deep dive compelling, hit like, drop a comment. Which part of AI genomic medicine excites you the most, or which part worries you? Subscribe to the Tech Radar for weekly explorations into the technologies changing our world. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, stay ahead.